Things scraping around here. At least the weather's pleasant. Snow White! Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair! The scar! Ah, the frown! It's all perfect! Something you actually want from me? Or are you just gonna go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size. With the finest Vista Toussaint Fords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. Don't see why not, long as it doesn't take long. It shan't, never worry. We've but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. A perfect landscape perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the Western Gate, near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. Ah, the serendipity, I'm so... Master Witcher! What luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? New contract? Of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past, on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Yeah. Gotta stop by that bank.
Just as faithful. I know, I know. A man who dare not doubt you are. Know, just get a fight back. You go your way, I'll go mine. The rock is terrifying at times. How goes it, friend? <laughs> Notion of order is this. Why doesn't no. someone do something for it all? What's this about? Ah, the notice. Is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. I took the matter up with the Ducal Guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? The noises, they pretty regular? Each night, I live next door. I hear it loud and clear, as if through a horn someone had stuck in my ear. Ah! Horn! Ooh, fuck, and then whack, thud, as if a mother bear slammed pate first into a cupboard. Know exactly what you mean. How much will I get for this? How much would you like? What? Much too much. Hmm. I don't believe I have that amount. A 
Vergleich nicht. Fine, I'll tend to it. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? Do you think it might be a monster? Could be. It doesn't need to, though. Might also be grave robbers. Tramps. Remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, Master. Ah, where's the fire? I would kill the What have we here? The tourney's champion! Greetings! Can't hear anything, but might want to look around anyway. I coughs back. Empty wine bottles. Leftovers. Big to do? Not likely.
Noise is coming from the catacombs, it seems. So, noise is coming from here. Not a soul. Strange. Doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair, either. Here lies Margot de Quarantin. Hmm. Gold. Can't be grave robbers. None with their salt would have left this. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. Louis de Quarantin died on the day of St. Zoetham's remembrance. Hmm. Noises started right around then. Smashed, as if someone threw it against the wall. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. Noise is clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. See how things play out. Behind this statue, maybe? rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some... Dwarf! Disgusting Indeed. Far better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrid, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. What's this argument about, anyway? Sort of. Not your concern. Could help you resolve it. I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt, and this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery! I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. Once, damn it, and as a jest. How many times must I explain? And... Who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lepioda? Piety. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you some five hundred times! Quiet. Shut up, both of you. Who does the crypt belong to, rightfully? Must you ask? It's mine. My family's. The De Corentans. Are you illiterate? True. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. 
do so, and I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cuts. What? I knew it was you! And now, you would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cuts! It all. Had I those very cards at the tournament in Belhaven, I'd still be alive. It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death. They murdered you for your debts. I had nothing to do with it. Come, I heed this good book thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself as soon as you've removed her. Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. After which he promptly added, For you shall have none left for me. Heretic, shut your mouth. I shall speak to you no more. I see you fell for that pious tart drivel. Drat! Ah, oh, well, then listen. I've a request. Be a good fellow and set me in the chamber of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. It's just round the corner. You a member? That's just it. I was not. But I would have dearly liked to have been. And joining them in death shouldn't bother anyone. Certainly doesn't bother me. I'll do it. Where's this chamber? Ah, once you enter the catacombs, go straight. The chamber will be on your right, near the corridor's mouth, and... I thank you. Deeper in the catacombs. Right, let's go. 